everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to share with you what I've been warming. I have Scentsy Wax, Vendor Wax, a few pieces of retail wax, and just one item that isn't wax. So most of these are empty, but some of them, and particularly in one vendor, I have things which are partly empty. And I would like to share all of this. This is probably a week's worth, and I melted rather a lot this week because everything was just so doggone good, and I was hungry for more. So uh, it was a good week. So first of all, in non-wax item, I went through three boxes of these parchment cup liners. They are parchment baking cups, so it's a, it's a paper that's been treated. They're not wax. Uh, and they're not pure paper, so if you decide to go this route, it does hit, need to say parchment or parchment in French. And um, there's 60 to a box. They come in a set of four boxes, 60 each on Amazon, and I'll leave the link below. These have been a game changer for me. Of a hundred of them, I had only two that had a little bit of dotting underneath them, a little seepage, and one that leaked badly. So 97 that didn't leak, I am well pleased, and they are just make, make everything so simple. I hardly use any cotton balls anymore. No muss, no fuss, so I love these. <coughs> Pardon me. So three of those. I think I will do Scentsy first. So if you're here just for that, let's start with that, and then I'll get into vendor wax. So I went through a, quite a few, and I, I did a number of licensed bars this week, just, just for fun. So first of all, I went through a bar of Aladdin, and this is uh, called Three Wishes. It's blueberry, sugar plums, blackberry, and cranberry. So gorgeous. Pl primarily the blueberry, a real fresh, sweet blueberry, and then I get a lot of the plum. A little bit of tartness from the cranberry. Gorgeous scent. And this was about a nine strength and throw and ten scent appeal. Next up, Dumbo. And Dumbo is described as, this was very uh, soupy <laughs> inside. Oh, it's a pretty fruit, pretty, kind of a creamy fruity. Clementine, peach, mango, and vanilla bean. And I love this. Um, for me, this was about a year old, this bar, and it threw fine. It was about an eight and 10 cent appeal. So I, when these are fresh, they tend to be light, at least in my home and in my experience. But after about a year's worth of hanging out in the, in the drawer, it, and it got very soupy, but oh, it just smells beautiful. So I will always get that, and that's Dumbo. Next up, we had Turning Red from the movie of the same name. And I really like this. this I melted it before and was kind of meh the first time. This is pomegranate, cherry, sugar cane, and orange. I really enjoyed this this time. It has that little zing from the pomegranate, but I love pomegranate. So, um, yeah, I enjoyed that. It was about a, it was nice and strong, nine strength and throw, and about a 10 cent appeal. I don't have these in my club. My club is down to really tiny again. Um, I just realized I don't need to have a huge club because I don't, I'm, I was bringing in again more than I'm melting. The, the two need to be at least on a par. I don't want to be stockpiling. So kiss the girl. From The Little Mermaid, this is strawberry, raspberry, lime, and sea mist. So nice. The sea mist, it's not a strong salty sea air. It's just a gentle sea mist and then the fruits. Really pretty. This is about a 7 to an 8 strength and throw and a 9 cent appeal for me. Let's see. Then we hit, this is one of my all-time favorite fragrances. I love this. Fearless by Nature. There is Sven. This is from Frozen 2. So this is Wildflower, Fern, and Sage. And it's, it's kind of a heady floral. It's really strong, nine to a 10, strength and throw. Oh, and this lasts for days. So I really like that. It's fearless by nature. Then we have uh, Under the Sea from The Little Mermaid. I like this one too. This one is Emerald Water, and that scent, that fragrance oil has Lily of the Valley in it. So a little bit of floral, green apple, and blue hibiscus. So it's like a lovely, sweet, white floral, gentle. This was about an eight strength and throw and about an uh, eight to a nine scent appeal. 
about an eight. I, I, I don't like it as well as um, Kiss the Girl. Okay, then we had a few that were not licensed. So we had Johnny Appleseed, good old Johnny. Johnny is uh, Macintosh apple, apple peel, and and pear. And it's like a fresh, crisp pear, not a... It's not the ripe pear from... Um, from a perfect day, the new one. This is more of a crisp pear. So always a good fragrance and um, really strong. About a nine strength and throw, about eight to a nine, and then about a nine cent appeal for me. Ruby Nectarine, I enjoy this, but to me it's almost too saturated, sweet, fruity. Uh, Nectarine, Ruby, Apple, and Pear Blossom, real strong. Um, I like this, but I would, this was a scent of the month whoop, a while back. I wouldn't, I have another bar of it, but I wouldn't necessarily buy it again. And uh, that's Ruby Nectarine. That's just my nose. A lot of people love that. Bamboo Yuzu, and I really enjoy this. I love bamboo green notes, and, and I love Yuzu, that lovely citrus. This is bamboo, lotus flower, Yuzu, and sage. The sage gives it just a little bit of earthiness. This is very nice. It was from the recent Bring Back My Bar. I have another bar of it, and that'll do me just fine. And then finally, oh, this one's so good. This was a gift from my friend Becky. This is Grapefruit Sunshine. And this is Brisk Citrus, Pink Grapefruit, and Vanilla. And this is so strong and so good. Becky, I love it. Thank you so much. Becky sent me four bars of this. You have to love grapefruit. It's zingy, but it's also creamy from the vanilla. I love that. So, Becky, thank you. That's all my Scentsy. So, if you were here just for that, thank you. And I, I really appreciate you stopping by. So, I'm going to do vendor wax now. So, I have, uh, I have Destination Wax. I try to do one vendor per week. and then, But I certainly got into a lot of other vendors, too, because I was just greedy this week. So, first of all, I'll do Destination Wax. As you know, Destination Wax is one of my favorite vendors. Uh, Rebecca just makes beautiful wax. It's softer wax. It throws beautifully in my home, and I love her array of scents. I think her her fresh choices are right up what I enjoy. So I'm going through her whole scent list. So I think we were in the D's and E's here, but then I also picked some other ones that were not from there. Yeah, this is kind of a mixed mixed bag. So first of all, we had Desert Tumbleweed. So I don't really need to hold you up these bags, right? You know what her logo looks like. It's a compass. Okay, so I'm just going to talk through these. Desert Tumbleweed is a favorite of mine, and I had reordered this. So this was sage, sweetgrass, cedar, peppermint, spearmint, and vanilla sugar. The mint and the cedar together come to mama. This is a 9 and 10 strength and throw and a 10 cent appeal. Big favorite of mine. Dragon Lily. I never had this before. How have I missed Dragon's Blood all these years? I didn't know what that was. So Dragon's Blood is cedar, neroli, patchouli. I think it has some jasmine in it and clove. And then that was mixed with um, Lily of the Valley. Oh my goodness. This was so good. This was earthy and calming. And, and that it was just beautiful. The patchouli was definitely present. You have to like patchouli, but it's not head shop. It's more of the calming, earthy nature of patchouli without being too, too head shop. So it was more subtle than that. And the cedar, you know I love cedar. That was beautiful. So that's called Dragon Lily. Now Lily of the Valley gave that a little brightness. Next up was wasabi. So just like the, the green condiment that you get when you order sushi. This one, I liked it better before than I did this time. I've had this several times. I don't know why, and my nose may have changed a little bit. I enjoyed it, but this is something I might want in a room and not throughout the whole house. This is um, Fresh and Earthy Eucalyptus, Ginger, Peppermint, Camphor, Amber, Thyme, and Wasabi. And just all that together, I don't know. For me this time, my, my nose was kind of struggling with, all the, with the combination. But it was nice and strong, 8 to a 9, and about a 7 cent appeal. So that was Wasabi. Then we had Day of the Dead, and this is um, a Lush dupe. So it's Calacas from Lush, 
and Calacas is neroli, lime, and frankincense. I love frankincense, and I really didn't realize that's what was in Calacas. No wonder I always liked it. So, and then the neroli and the lime, this is all kind of gorgeous, really strong. This lasted for days. The nine to a 10, strength and throw, and a 10 cent appeal. Next up we have uh, Magic in the Air. Now, this one is really light. I've had it several times and it's always light, so it must be a feature of the fragrance oils because normally Rebecca's wax is at least a seven and usually about an eight to a nine in my house. Um, Magic in the Air is a Bath & Body Works dupe. This is almond flower, white iris, fruits, and whipped vanilla. And oh, it's the iris and the whipped vanilla, and then the, um, the almond, there's just a little bit of almond flower. It's, there's no cherry with the almond. I know people are always worried about that. This is so beautiful. It's like a sweet floral almond and then that creaminess. This is so pretty. But light. Oh, so 10 cent appeal and about a two to a three to throw. And that's been true every time I've had this, but I would still get a loaf of it because it's just so impossibly beautiful. And finally, baked apples, just like it sounds. Baked apples with cinnamon and clove. 8 to a 9 strength and throw, 9 cent appeal, my husband went insane. Steve is all about apple fragrances, so he was really happy with that. So that was Destination Wax, which was kind of my focus for the focus vendor for the week. Very happy, and I'll continue to make my way through her scent list. Next up, let's do, um, so I got three samplers from L3 Waxy Wonders. They had a, a, um, extras after a pre-order sale, so I, I did kind of go hard on that. I got three samplers. I'm almost in, well, I am in overflow mode on my vendor wax, but c'est la vie. So I got the Today is October 3rd sampler, which is a Palo Santo blend. So beautiful. I got the Garden Mint sampler. You know I love anything mint, and that's such a fresh, beautiful mint. And then I got the Cotton Candy sampler. Because I found out this year that I love cotton candy. Who knew? I've missed that all these years. So I melted one from each of the samplers so far. This just arrived, when was that? Saturday? Friday or Saturday? And then I melted one um, bunt cut into four pieces. One piece in each of four warmers. And it lasted about, well the one lasted two days. The, the October 3rd one lasted two days. Cotton candy one last, didn't last that long, and the, um, the garden mint one lasted, I don't know, 10 to 12 hours. So, in short, okay, the, uh, the first one was pumpkin souffle. Today is October 3rd, graham crackers. These are from L3 Waxy Wonders. So this is Palo Santo, sugar cookie royale, and toasted mallow. That's October 3rd. Then you add to that graham cracker crumbs and pumpkin souffle. I have no words. The pumpkin souffle and the Palo Santo together. Wow. So this was eight strength and throw right out of the box. I didn't cure these at all. Creamy, woody, beautiful pumpkin, not overly spiced. Oh, and with the Palo Santo, 10 cent appeal. That is gorgeous. I would buy that in a loaf. From these, um, garden mint sampler. I had spearmint, cake batter, and garden mint. This was beautiful because it wasn't overly sweet. So you did get the bakery note and then you had the, the spearmint and the garden mint. It was a beautiful fresh mint. Not bubblegum, not toothpaste, not overly sweet. It was very refreshing. So this was 8 to 9 strength and throw right out of the box and a 10 cent appeal. I love that. And finally we had from the cotton candy sampler uh, this was also beautiful, but lighter and didn't last as long. I'm thinking that will need to cure. Cotton candy, I know the co other cotton candy blends I've had from any vendor, they typically are on the lighter side. Cotton candy, boom boom, uh, strawberry pancake, and board, boardwalk marshmallow clouds. You know, what, what's not to love there? So this was just delectable, decadent. The boom boom cream was beautiful, but not overpowering. You know, that can take over. Blended with the cotton candy, oh my goodness. This is a little bit body care, but you, you still want to eat it. It was just gorgeous. So about a six strength and throw. This one was a little bit lighter, uh, 10 
scent appeal and it didn't last that long. It's only about four to five hours and then it was done. So I'm thinking the cotton candy sampler needs to cure. But wow, L3 Waxy Wonders. I hadn't ordered from her in a long time and I don't know why because she has beautiful wax. All right, so that's that. Then I'm gonna finish with Teddy B's. I got two little trays before that. How are we on time? I better pick it up here. Okay, so this one is from Sensationals Wonderland. This was a gift from my friend Maria. Deck chair on the Titanic from our Thursday Thoughts group. This was beautiful. So this is a uh, berry apple and peony and it also has dewy white flowers, sparkling strawberry, and whipped vanilla. So a lot of scent notes there. So a berry, vanilla, fruity mix. This was gorgeous. So about a seven to an eight strength and throw and a 10 scent appeal. I love that. So that's Wonderland. From Goose Creek Espresso Cake Pops, you've heard me talk about this. This is such a decadent, decadent, delicious blend. So you have espresso, you have um, a little bit of chocolate and you have a very rich cake batter. This is so good. You, I just am drooling when this is going. So this was about an eight strength and throw, 10 cent appeal. And finally, uh, from my, uh, this is from Retail Wax, from Country Candle, which is a subsidiary of Kringle Candle. We had cilantro, apple, and lime. And I think of all the Country Candle fragrances, this is my favorite. So it's just like it sounds, cilantro, apple, and lime. It is a little bit herbal. The lime is beautiful and not like a, not like a lime gumdrop. It's more like a fresh lime. And then the, uh, the apple is not overpowering. This is so gorgeous. I have had numerous bars of this. Been an eight strength and throw, throw 10 cent appeal. All right, now then I hit some odds and ends and then we'll do Teddy Bee's last. Odds and ends. I had I, I made a purchase from the bathing garden and meet, there are some samples that came with that. All of these were just did great. Um, Brighter oh now this one I didn't like so well but it was strong. Brighter Frankenstein smoothie. This is like a you just went out and mowed the lawn and took the grass and mixed it with milk and made a smoothie. So not appealing. I think it's the word smoothie that bothered me because I like fresh cut grass note, but I just the thought of drinking that I don't know it bothered me so. Eight to nine strength and throw, but about a five cent appeal. Just, I don't, I don't think she should call it smoothie, but you know, Bride of Frankenstein, it's all in fun. So it, that was nice and strong. Marshmallow pumpkin rice crispy. This was lovely. About a seven to an eight strength and throw, nine cent appeal, just like it sounds. Batty caramel apple. This was a true caramel apple, not overly gooey. Nice fresh apple, beautiful. That was a nine strength and throw, and that one lasted forever. And then Summer in a Jar, this was kind of a lemonade, I couldn't find scent notes, but kind of a lemonade fragrance, eight strength and throw and nine scent appeal. So those were great. You know, you never can go wrong with the bathing garden, beautiful fragrances. So I bought some things from her and I'm letting them sit for a little bit. Okay, then we had, this is an assortment and these were all, I believe, gifts from my friend. No, a couple of these were from a D-stash I bought of, of Teddy Bees and there were other things included. Very kind de-stasher. So if you're watching, thank you so much. So first of all, we had from Lurid Apothecary that I have never melted from. Christmas Cookie Battle. This was beautiful, long-lasting sugar cookie, cane sugar, buttercream, and a hint of maple. I am not the world's biggest maple fan, but this was lovely. Just a little bit of maple and it made it so uh, mouth-watering and delicious without being too sickeningly sweet. Nice blend. Eight strength and throw, nine cent appeal. I got water on this one. It's somebody's gingerbread house day. I don't know if that was Mrs. Claus. I'm so sorry. And this was for also from the D-Stash. This is Vintage Chic Scents. So this was like a gingerbread fragrance, bakery and gingerbread and ginger spice. Very nice. Eight, eight strength and throw. And this was again from Vintage Chic Scents, nine cent appeal. Then we had from my friend Becky. This was from Scoopable Tarts Wax. 
and wow this was wild mountain honey you notice i melted all of this already becky my goodness this is beautiful sweet florals and honey blended together so beautiful so realistic it's a lightly floral beautiful honey fragrance i love honey and wax and becky was kind enough to indulge me so this was nine strength and throw 10 cent appeal long lasting beautiful fragrance and finally oh my goodness this is from sassy girl aroma black hood this is it says woodsy sweet smoky vanilla that's exactly what it is this is beautiful i've had this going all day in multiple warmers this was two kind of snap bars so i have nothing to show you because it's all been used beautiful um, seven to eight strength and throw and ten cent appeal that was the most beautiful smoky vanilla it was very mysterious and there was a woods note in there beautiful okay teddy bees we are at 20 minutes so I'm gonna have to not go into a lot of detail here I am very very happy with teddy bees wax it is performing well I made a couple big orders from the RTS I bought a, a 2d stashes one big one small and then I did make another order in the recent pre-order. What can I say? You know, I've gone over the edge, down the rabbit hole, and I'm very happy. So, you know, I've never promised this is the moderation channel. I've said that before. So, Z's, this is a Snuggles blend with peppermint and lavender. And this is, excuse me, peppermint and pink sugar. This is really nice for cleaning. Nice and strong. Most Teddy Bees in my home is about a seven to an eight. So this is more for cleaning day because of that laundry note. Carpe diem in these huge um, clamshells. I get a kick out of these. This is like a um, butt naked or um, skinny dipping from Scentsy blend. So I'm not going to read scent notes because of time, but it's a fruity blend. Beautiful. And I, I enjoyed that. Love this one. This is from the D-Stash. Snow Cones by the Sea. It's like cherry snow cone and salty sea air. I love that. It's very long lasting. As it goes on, the cherry goes away and you end up with just like a fruity salty sea air. If you love, you have to love salty sea air. Nice and strong. Nine strength and throw and nine cent appeal. Cherry vanilla biscotti, which I did not like the first time I melted it. My friend Natalie said how much she loved it. So I thought, if Natalie loves it, I'm going to give it another chance. And I melted it in another room, as Patricia Gates encourages us to do. And I loved it in the enclosed porch. So I can't explain that. But I really enjoyed it. It's a little bit buttery, but the, the vanilla bakery dough and then that cherry, it's just beautiful. And so it's cherry vanilla biscotti. Summer circus cookies. Honestly, it's not available anymore. I would have bought this in a loaf. This is beautiful. So this is her summer circus cookies, which is lemon frosted circus cookies. The lemon is really tart. Oh, and then this has strawberry pound cake with it. This was gorgeous. A little bit light, six to seven. I don't care. It's beautiful. Just do it in a smaller room. Ten strength and uh, ten cent appeal. Summer circus cookies. I bought a loaf of, and this was from the RTS, Sugarfoot, which was one of her new blends. This is watermelon and birthday cake. Oh, good heavens. So beautiful. A very fresh watermelon, watery, and then a beautiful white cake. So glad I have a lot of this. That was beautiful. Time. Oh, oh. Okay. Lavender Frosted Circus Cookies. Beautiful. I think her lavender is slightly herbal, although she says... Um, sweet tiff's favorite birthday cake similarly i love that it has lavender in it and last cozy cookie cake this is like white cake and and salty sea air and it is beautiful and i gotta wrap this up beautiful week thank you for watching take care talk to you next time bye for now